What's up guys, uh, welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. You know, there is something about this social media. I understand we are here to cast crews, make fun, and uh, be happy. But there is uh, there should be some uh, certain limits to that. Eh? There were some electricians online, some electricians online, that were trying to look for the connection between Whiskey and his first son, Bolatife. Some electricians. We're trying to look for the wire connection between Whiskey and Bolatife. You know, Whiskey more died and uh, they are currently undergoing the burial process and everything. And honestly, I've never thought there will ever be a day that I will see Whiskey cry. Never in my widest imagination that I will ever thought that I will ever see a day that, you, that I will see Whiskey cry on live television. Like literally crying, it's not as if it's uh, photo, uh, Photoshop on or, or anything. The guy they cry, the guy they cry, and sometimes it's good for a man to cry. It's good, let the feeling out. And uh, I think the only thing, major something that can ever make a man cry, that me can never make me cry, is my mom. Honestly, all my siblings, or my own kids. I don't pray such things will happen. I don't pray anything bad will happen. But that's the only thing that I can ever talk, uh, think about because I believe at that moment when he cried before, but he thought it was over it because we, we saw Whiskey attending some uh, shows recently. You thought, he, maybe he thought it was over the feeling of a mom until that day when he actually saw his mom in that uh, casket and the way keeping, you know, talking about you no, know, the whole reflection of memories over the years that you have about your mom, how she took care of you, taking you to school, the struggles, the hunger, so many other things, huh? So many other things that came. And I've never seen Risky uh, close relatives before, apart from the mom and the dad and his uh, kids. I, I, Whiskey had a lot of her sisters. I think he's the only boy. And his girlfriend and his wife, or should I say baby mama, Jada was also there, uh, accompanying him to all these uh, services. No, I think we shouldn't be calling Jada his girlfriend anymore because, come on, man, there is nothing you need to know again. All those guys, they are couples already. You know, to be able to carry Jada to his mom burial and move around wearing the same outfit, of course, you should know now. That's his girlfriend. But let's talk about the connection, the electric, the, the electric connection between Bolatife and Whiskey that some electricians online are trying to uh, trying to find. So there is this video of uh, Whiskey leaving that uh, the function yesterday night, and uh, Bolatife was just in front of me. They just hugged a little bit, and Bolatife left. Then Whiskey proceeded to his car. Fans were really that happy. In fact, I wouldn't want to start reading comments. But let me just check for a for, for so few comments yesterday about uh, Whiskey. And uh, some people trying to look for the for the electric connection between Bolatife. <laughs> between Bolatife and Whiskey. Someone said, see the way uh, Balu just hugged him and left like a random fan. Why Zion is chilling with Jada inside Rolls Royce, ready to go to his dad mansion. Make you now know the first Peking on top man. Last, last, now Peking will suffer. Uh -uh. That was so ridiculously wicked. Wicked. That was ridiculously wicked. So many other similar comments. So many other similar comments, guys. Of course, huh? I do not know Whiskey's space, but seeing Whiskey cry that day, you should know the guy is filled with so many emotions. Despite you see the guy not be so you know talkative like many other celebrities, that doesn't mean he doesn't have emotions. And there are several interviews I've watched Whiskey when he openly say. But Latifa is his first love. This is his first pride. You always take Bolatifa's word. 
there was even this interview again i said i think last three years last four years and during the interview he had to call volatifem so you see you cannot volatifem is if you even check it but volatifem is a, is a will grow up to be a, a a guy a man that will handle the entire family like he actually grew up with the mom and then have that strong will to go by himself his father was also supportive you know that kind of man that kind of men they have this strong mentality to take over the family not the one with the they rob with so much love pampering here and there here and there no 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 i still like the way bolatufe is doing his, his stuff and i don't pray a day we ever come that bolatufe will feel neglected by whiskey because of what social media might say. So Bolatife shouldn't ever listen to what social media is saying. And Whiskey Mother has been the backbone taking care of all those kids. There is this one, there's still one child of Whiskey that wasn't there. One child from Whiskey that wasn't there, the one in Canada. I don't know why the, the guy wasn't there. Maybe his mom was making it difficult for the guy to come and witness his burial ceremony but all the same whiskey that so much uh portray all the song he has never denied anyone in fact in that uh music video he showed all his kids so i beg let the guy breathe there eh? if you are trying to look for a connection as an electrician go there and look for <laughs> connection and uh big up to whiskey my condolences to whiskey i know it's not easy to lose a mom eh? it's not easy to lose a mom i repeat it it's not easy to lose a mom. Today is the final ceremony where she will be um, where she will be buried, but I don't know the actual place. But today is the final ceremony that currently in church as, as I am making this video. So let's move past that. Let's talk about Tiwa Savage. Tiwa Savage. So Tiwa Savage is one of the biggest star, female biggest star to come from uh, Africa and Nigeria, and they're one of the top female star in the, in the world yes if you if you want to argue that argue that with your uh with your uh, music hub out there so tima Savage decided to show off a little bit and uh, she bought a range over and let me just make this note you know for the couple of days now we have been seeing celebrities uh content creators and uh content creators actresses showing off Range Rover, saying they have bought Range Rover. There is something about Hibasabi's Range Rover. Eh? It is not just any Range Rover. Go check the face very well and compare it to this normal Range Rover these guys are buying. This is the latest technology, technology everything, the latest Range Rover. And again, it is not a Sakura, it's not Tokumbo. You know, most of our celebrities here, they, they buy Tokumbo cars. Direct, so put some respect. And this guy Range Rover is going from two hundred to three hundred million naira. So direct, and the latest. All those guys are buying 2022, 2021 Range Rover, but this is the latest, twenty twenty three. I think it's twenty twenty four uh, Range uh, Rover. So big up to Tiwa. It's one of the richest when it comes to a female. Uh, Entertainer and also has more money than most of all those male um, musicians that are out there. So, guys, uh, to end this video, let's talk about uh, let's discuss about one well known music pioneer. I don't know if you guys know about Kenny's music. Kenny Music was the one that brought up uh, that bring in a uh, two face Dibia. So many. All those uh, old entertainers as and then the band assisted the band, assisted the uh, J1, you know, do many of those uh, musicians. Well, one of the part owner of Kenny Music, that is uh, Kenny Ogugbe, Ogungube, if I'm pronouncing the uh, that well, uh, is currently age 53. This guy is currently age 53. And this guy just recently concluded his NYSE program. He checked with the shit and everything. 
That's the picture, guys. So my question is, I thought this thing has age bracket. NYSC Youth Service in Nigeria have age bracket, and the age bracket is 30 years. Once you are above 30 years, you should go out to seek for exemption of letter. But this man still went to do NYSE at 53. Well, there might be a motive behind it. Maybe he's expecting some kind of a political, you know, political appointment very, very, very soon. And honestly, huh, I will advise anybody, since this man was able to go to NYSE, why not go to, go to NYSE? Yes, they say age bracket is 50, 30. You can take this my picture and able to sue NYC for not accepting you. Forget age bracket. I am 53 years old. I want to do NYC. So it's good though. I'm not even criticizing him. It's really, really good. As long as you are alive, pursue your dream. Pursue it. Pursue it, guys. Well, so guys, I thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.